The next lesson, we're going to complete the roof of the home, to complete the full exterior shell of the home. Zoom up in the area, the graphics area of your cabin. And we're going to scroll down in our tool palette until we see roof. We're going to single left click on roof and simply click around the perimeter of the exterior of the home. Click, 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 and you'll be able to see the roof form. Click. And although it looks complete, let's complete our roof by left clicking on the corner we start. To complete the command, we're going to select the Enter key. And you see your roof form. Now, we need to complete the interior. So the roof itself, we're going to have to turn this, what's called layer, off. So we don't view it. We're not deleting it. We're just not viewing it. To do that, we're going to come up here in the layer states and you can see a light bulb, a sun, a lock, a color, and the layer state that the item's on. If I left click, you'll see that the roof itself, that is a light turquoise, is formed. And I'm going to select the light bulb and turn it off. Single left click in the blank screen, and your roof is off. I also want to show you the views. I really don't want you folks to use this wheel and this cube. Sometimes it can get a little confusing when you're forming items. If you pull something out and it's in a different view, it might not work the best. So what I'm going to show you is probably in our home tab here, and it's the smallest little panel right in the middle called view. Click hold. Drag it out. You can see the first one. We're currently in its top view. Next to it, you'll see a little down triangle. I'm going to left click on that down triangle and you can see all the other views. I'm going to go to what's called a southeast asymmetric view. If you're familiar with this in other drafting forms, such as the mechanical portion of this course. Left click and you'll see your home. I'm going to change from a visual style wireframe, left click, and change it to a conceptual, which will change it kind of a green, blue, and other solid colors. You could use the realistic, but it's more of a gray, and you will be applying materials later in this lesson. So I'm going to go back to conceptual be able to manipulate instead of just viewing it in its southeast isometric I'm going to click down in the top one and go to the 3D orbit I'm going to click hold on my screen with my left mouse button and drag around so I can see the full form I can see my shutters I can see my doors I'm going to come back up to the layer states and turn my roof back on and you'll see that the default for the roof, it's quite high. So we're going to change what's called the slope. Right mouse, exit, or you could hit the escape key. I'm going to double click on my roof. And just like all the properties from the windows, doors, walls, and so on, this is now about the roof. Then I'm going to change. If I scroll down, you'll see the rise over the run. The run is locked in at units of inches, 12. The rise is currently one foot, or 12 over 12, rise over run. For every 12 inches we go over, we go, we rise 12 inches. We're going to change that. For our cabin, let's go half of that and type in 6. And select enter and you can see our roof now has a run still of 12 but only rises six i'm going to select escape go back to my 3d orbit and you can see it's a little bit more normal of a roof i'm going to go back to my top view i'm going to go back to my wireframe 
and I'm going to select roof off so I can start working on the inside. I'm going to put the view, click hold, back into my home tab right in the middle. This completes the lesson on creating your roof.